so in this lecture we will continue with our example on assets and we will learn about how to play back an audio so let's start this was our code we were able to display a grid of different buttons where each button was associated with a with an asset and our assets are the sound files we have implemented it using recycler view and using a grid of three so now let's move forward and uh, we should learn about how to play back songs so let's go to the class called beat grid and we will try to create a sound pool that will help us in playing back the sound so sound pool can load a large set of sounds into memory and control the maximum number of sounds that are playing back at any given time so if our user gets too mixed and he wants to play with the sounds he can play with it using a sound pool so yeah in the beat grid we start from the beginning after the folder address let's define one more variable which is private static final int max sounds equal to 5 we can give any number we are starting with 5 then we create another variable of type sound pool which is under android.media m sound pool and then in the in our original constructor we add few other thing m sound pool equal to new sound pool max sounds audio manager dot now you can see that different functions with the audio manager provides you a stream alarm a stream dtmf a stream music a stream notification etc etc so we are currently interested in the music and then we create it so you can see that there is a line which is cutting the sound pool this is because we are using an older constructor of sound pool so let it remain currently as it is and uh, we will try to handle it later so code is still working it is just giving you a indication that this particular constructor is deprecated okay now uh, basically in the from the lollipop onward lollipop created uh, new, introduced a new way of creating a sound pool using a sound pool dot builder uh, but since the builder is not available on the older devices we are continuing with the deprecated constructor so let's now move on let's go to our sound dot java and we should start now loading some sound so uh, first thing that earlier in the sound dot java we hadn't done much now we will add few more functionalities i hope many of you understand the difference between integer and int integer is a class and we are currently creating an object while a small int is a primitive type so now let's go and uh, let's add some more getters public integer get sound id public void this is a setter set sound id int 
integer s m sound id equal to s now we would go to the beat grid again and in the sound pool in the sound pool and basically in load sounds there we will write another function which is a simple load private white load sound sound throws io exception yeah so in this function we will do the actual work of reading from the asset from the files that we have added as assets and uh, bringing and connecting them basically with our uh, sound pool that we are trying to create so we use a method called asset file descriptor af d equal to m assets dot open ft sound dot get asset path and then int sound id to m sound pool dot load ft then sound dot set sound id to sound id so here we try to connect and basically uh, calling this load function will load a file into our sound pool for later play for the later playback yes now we have to just use this function the load sound function into our main class and uh, get the sounds loaded so let's go back to the main class where we were using load sounds function and uh, in this we will just try to add everything so we were earlier using a for loop where we were giving the asset path we were creating the sound now we will just call load sound Now this is throwing an exception so we will have to put a try and catch block so i will just put a try and i will put a catch io exception io e then we do now this is an error so i am to i am taking the e level of the log tag could not load sound and then i'll just give the file name for which it happened and also the exception that has been called Now the only thing that is left for playing the sound is to add the play method to the beat grid class. So let's add a play method. Let's say here, which will actually play the sound. Because so far our code was all about loading it correctly. E if sound id equal to null then return otherwise 
call the play method of the sound pool provide the sound id so rest of the things which determine the left volume right volume priority loop flow trade we will currently just give the default values which are very standard so you can so unless you want something else these values would serve you well for any audio playback task so this is fine so these values what do they mean uh, basically you may have seen the different parameters so volume on the left volume on the right volume on the left volume on the right the priority uh, and uh, then we have the parameter for whether it should loop or not and then the playback rate so everything is currently fine now basically we have to also play the sound when we press the button so for pressing the button we need to implement our listener on press button so let's go to our class the sound holder which was given in the in this and uh, let's create a listener so implements view dot on click listener giving you an error because we have to implement a method which is a on click method here so i go and i override public void on click uv then m Beat grid dot play sound and then I just add this set the listener into action. Okay. So this is now fine. So let's first hear to one of the sound and then we will try to see if the same sound played or not. So I am playing this sound. Let me set my PC. So one more time. So that is so that is the sound of the first clip and once we press the button we should hear it so let's now run our program and see whether we actually hear it or not so yeah so press the button launching it launches so this was the sound which we just heard let's press the button now yes so now our app is playing a sound so we have sort of completed our app uh, which tells us about assets as well as playing back sound so now uh, just as you can see that we created a sound pool. We can actually create a pool of multiple sounds. Yes. So uh, that is all very good, except that we have to also do some cleaning. So we will go here and we will have to also release our M sound pool when the work is done. So let us go and let us write our release method. public void release release 
m sum pool dot release so this is our release method and then we go into the into the build grid and we release it when we are done and that will happen when our app is in the destroy on destroy so let's so we have already loaded other methods uh, sorry so we go to the beat grid fragment we have already overridden on our method on create on create view etc now let's also write the method for destroy so at overwrite public void on destroy super dot on destroy m beat grid dot release so yes so now we have pretty much done everything that is needed to make a basic sound app we are loading we are playing and we are also releasing so yes <laughs> there we go it is released and everything is fine now uh, let's run our application and as usual we will try to test it for rotation so first let's yeah. set some sound so this is a long running sound so while the sound is playing we will rotate and as you saw that the sound stopped abruptly so we will have to uh, so this is an unexpected behavior and we will have to write some code so that it does not happen so let's go back into the on create method of the of the beat create fragment and what we want to do is actually we want the fragment to retain the instance so this is the fragment that is not retaining the its instance so we will just go there and set this property and once the fragment retains it hopefully something good should come out of it so in the on create i'm only saying set retain instance true Now with this we can rotate it and our sound continues. So our sound continues. And you see and even though I rotate my sound does not stop. So just by set retain instance which is by default false but because we are now setting it true we can rotate it and the playback continues uninterrupted so this is all very good so in this lecture you have learned to play back a sound and make sure that it continues to play back even if you rotate and also to use the sound pool for the same purpose and to use the sound pool and then to release it so thank you